What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am joined yet again with a very special guest, my wife, Adriana. And what are we doing on today's video? We're talking about our six month update living in New York. Yeah, so we've been in New York City for six months now, and a lot has happened since that time. So we figured we would sit down, tell you our experience in the first six months of living here, what's been going on, what hasn't been going on, how we feel about it, and what's happening in our life in the interim. So let's get into it. Let's go. This video is sponsored by Morning Brew. Before I found out about Morning Brew, my mornings were usually spent drinking coffee and just aimlessly browsing social media until eventually I had to get ready for work. And then my friend told me about Morning Brew, which is a newsletter sent to your email every Monday through Saturday, and my mornings have never been the same. Morning Brew is completely different from traditional news, which is usually dry, dense, and boring. Morning Brew is witty, relevant, and also informative at the same time. Ever since I found out about Morning Brew, my mornings are literally spent drinking coffee, sitting on the couch, and just browsing the Morning Brew newsletter. One thing I've learned from Morning Brew newsletter this week is that the live events industry has lost over $30 billion during this pandemic so far. That's pretty mind blowing and I had no idea unless I had this newsletter. There's literally no reason not to subscribe to the Morning Brew newsletter if you're interested in finance, business, or tech. It's completely free and takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. Click the link in my description to subscribe to the Morning Brew newsletter today. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, so as many of you all know, we moved to New York City in June of this year, making this our six month mark. Now, the reason we moved up here amidst the COVID pandemic was because we really had no choice. I signed a contract to do my fellowship in interventional radiology up here in New York City of what, 2019? A year ago. Yeah. yeah. A year ago. A year, I literally signed my contract a year before this whole COVID pandemic thing happened and the contract is binding and that's why I had to come to New York City. And before some of you all say, I thought you were doing interventional radiology in residency before you came up here. That's partly true because I was in the early specialization of interventional radiology or ESIR program at University of North Carolina where I did my diagnostic radiology residency where you do kind of an emphasis or last year fully in interventional radiology before you do your final year or sixth year of residency in interventional radiology, which is what we call a fellowship. So that's the real reason we came up here. But it's also really nice that we are back in New York since I'm born and raised here. All my family and friends are here. We met here, we got married here. So it always holds a special place in our hearts. Um, and what better place to be than New York City? No city can beat it. Sort of, because <laughs> it's not the same as it, True. It, was, it once was when we were up here, you know, frolicking around the city and going out every night and all this stuff. It is nothing like that at all. No, it's not. I mean, you know, this restaurant scene and the cocktail scene and, and so forth are really, they're really trying to make it what it was. Um, we really are trying to support the local restaurants by eating outdoors when we can um, and just trying new places. We're trying to take advantage of trying all the restaurants that we had on our bucket list. Um, for example, now that it's Christmas time, we'll probably still stop by the Christmas tree, maybe even go ice skating just to take advantage of all the New York City things. Um, but it's, it's different now. The, a lot of the restaurants have closed down. A lot of them are boarded up. A lot of them can't afford the expensive rent here. You know, the, the, restaurants, the restaurant scene isn't what it used to be. And now a lot of people don't want to eat outside wearing a winter coat to eat dinner. And that's part of the problem now in the wintertime, which I expressed concern for in one of my prior vlogs, which I'll try to link up here when I showed you guys some of the closed down restaurants and all that stuff. And I was worried about winter because of the cold weather. So amidst all this craziness in COVID pandemic and also all the shutdowns in New York City, there are a few good things that have come from it. One of them is that Andriana got a new job or started a completely different career than she has done in the past. You wanna talk about that? 
Yeah, so now I'm an aesthetics PA, meaning that now my whole entire focus is on aesthetic medicine. As you probably already know from my previous videos, I was a dermatology PA, a general surgery PA, and then in North Carolina, I was doing urgent care. Um, why am I in aesthetics? Well, ultimately, when I was doing my rotations, my elective, my elective rotation was in dermatology, and I knew that ultimately my goal was to gear my career into aesthetic medicine. I got the exposure when I was a student. My first job out of PA school was in dermatology, and I always had a part-time dermatology job. Um, I thought that this new new location was a great time to have a new job um, and the opportunity presented itself and now I'm working in aesthetic medicine. And for those of you who don't know what aesthetics medicine is or what it entails, what, what is it? I don't even... So it's the cosmetic portion of dermatology or the cosmetic portion of all injectable treatments. So think of wrinkle reducers like Botox, um, dermal fillers as well as yeah. as well as all skincare treatments yeah, who thinks that we should do a treatment on michael we should do a video and do something for you yeah i'm down if you want me to do like a botox or a facial treatment and do a vlog at her work and have her do it let me know in the comments below that'd be fun yeah um, i'll do it i don't care but yeah so it's and all facial treatments that are all cosmetic that make an person or an individual feel restored and refreshed. We're not changing or altering anyone's face. Lots of lots of concerns when it comes to injectables regarding that. It's all just about maintaining our natural beauty and natural aesthetics. Yeah. So that's essentially what our goal is in aesthetic medicine. Um, and I love it. It's my passion. And I'm so glad that I'm in it. Um, I think it's really important just in general um, for PAs, if you, if that is where you're, or for PA students, if that is where you see yourself, then definitely try and get a derm rotation, a derm or plastic surgery rotation so you can see what PAs do. Um, you don't really have much exposure in PA school, so it's definitely great to get your opportunity when you actually have that elective rotation or shadowing prior to PA school. So I know you were in surgery when I met you and also doing dermatology at the same time. So you're doing procedures and also managing skin conditions. So I feel like aesthetics medicine is like a perfect mixture of those two fields. Agreed. And I that, think yeah. that was where I thrive the most. Yeah, I feel like that kind of fits your personality and what you wanted out of a career. Perfect. Exactly. Um, I always felt like aesthetic medicine was like the, I don't know, the fashion industry where you keep up medicine. with yeah fashion industry of medicine where you keep up with new trends um when it comes to all things beauty so that's where i thrive and that's what i love the most so i felt like this was the perfect transition in my career yeah i agree yeah so i mean that it worked out perfectly for her she loves this job um she wants to continue to do this job right i mean and that's part of the reason why we want to stay in this area so she can keep this job and also, that kind of brings us to our next kind of life update, and that's my job, and what the heck I'm even doing after I finish fellowship in like six months time now. I, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, this six is- Six months and he's an attending. <laughs> yeah, this is six years in the making or 14 years total of medical education. And it's should finally, we have a party? Yeah, we should do a party if we could, we or if we can. Maybe, hope, maybe, hopefully, by next year, twenty twenty one, we can actually have a party. Maybe we could do a combo party. Of what? My thirtieth birthday. Oh yeah. And you and your graduation. Yeah, her thirtieth birthday is like almost the exact same time as my graduation. So, basically, what we're trying to figure out is, or what I'm trying to figure out is, the daunting task of finding my first real job as an attending physician which is like terrifying me currently because i don't there's a lot of different things that go into that because i know i've mentioned it on here before but you have to know exactly kind of what you're looking for in a attending physician job you have to know location which we sort of know we know we want to stay around here which is the easiest part in terms of what i want out of a job I don't really know because I've never 
had one and I'm exposed to every aspect of interventional radiology in my current job, but I don't know what I want to focus on going forward, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? I feel like when the opportunity presents itself, that's when you know that it'll be the right position for you. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm banking on, but I'm a lot of my colleagues are getting jobs right now, and I think like half of our fellowship class has jobs or is in talks with other places, and I'm still kind of unsure about how to find that perfect job that fits me. I haven't found it yet, and I'm hoping it comes soon, although I haven't really been looking... That, We've been browsing. Yeah, We've been browsing. Yeah, loosely browsing jobs, but I haven't like really wanted to pursue one job that I've found. So we'll see. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I feel like this kind of is, is your ear. first job always going to be your favorite job or your usually your not. end goal job? I feel like not really. I mean, it's always, yeah. there's always, that's always the stepping stone. So, so yeah, I know it's only been six months. Since I feel like it's been Long, I mean, six months, that time, fl like, time flies. Yeah, time flies, especially when we're, like, not even traveling. We're not doing anything, and time is still flying, which is crazy. I'm halfway through fellowship. I feel like I just got here. Yeah. And I feel like I haven't even, like, explored anything. You know? <laughs> we haven't. Like, I haven't done anything, I feel like, besides go to work every day, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is in the current environment. And hopefully I'll find a job going forward. If you have any prospects... No. Let us know in the Northeast, New York, greater New York area, something like that. So that's pretty much it. So we have Andrana's new job. We have New York not being the same as it once was. And hopefully it'll get better, though I don't think it'll get better for many years to come. Then we have my job, which I don't have. And I'm in the process of looking for... Your fellowship almost coming to an end. Fellowship's almost coming to the end her birthday at the same time. <laughs> but for these last six months, we just want to give you all an update of kind of what we've been doing since we haven't been able to like vlog anything. Or go anywhere. It's really just work. Kind of enjoying each other's company. Seeing some friends yeah. and going family. Out, going out to a few restaurants. Ordering, yeah. ordering in a lot. Supporting local restaurants when we yeah. can. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is my second week of vacation. So I used two of the six months and then two of the next six months and still not going anywhere. So <laughs> I'll be working. Yeah, she'll be working the whole time and I'll just kind of be sitting here with a week off and uh, trying to figure out something to do. Much need a week off. He can cook for me. Yeah, I'll, 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 maybe I'll learn how to cook. I'll probably just end up making you cocktails. <laughs> that seems to be the usual thing. But, I don't mind yeah. coming home to a new cocktail recipe. Sounds good. Of course not. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and end the video there. We just want to give you all a quick update of our life, what's going on with us and all that stuff for those of you who care. And uh, yeah, make sure you follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. And if you have any new video ideas that you would like us to film, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. We may film them if they're up our alley. Otherwise, make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, and... Otherwise, we'll see you on our next video. See you.